Good morning and welcome for mathematics lesson. Today we are going to do differentiation, a topic in mathematics, whereby we are going to look at what we call curve sketching. Before we continue with the lesson, kindly subscribe to this channel and share our link with your friends. So we're going to look at curve sketching. Curve sketching. For you to obtain a good sketch of a curve, there is the step you should follow. So first of all, we should determine determine the turning points. The turning points or the turning point, they might be several of the curve of the curve. And what you should know is that at the turning points, the gradient of a curve is always zero. Therefore, we should know that at the turning points, the derivative of the function will give us zero. Therefore, that is something we are supposed to master in the sketching of a curve. Again, when we are sketching a curve, we must determine the nature of the turning points. So the turning points we have identified in part one, we determine their nature. Determine the nature. Determine the nature of the turning points. The nature of the turning points identified in the first step. So the turning points, when determining their nature, we might either get a maximum point, a minimum point, or a point of inflection. Any of those two. Any of those three. Again, after identifying turning points and their nature, you move on to determine what you call the x-intercept. The x-intercept of the curve. And you should know that at the x-intercept, let the x intercept the value of y is always zero. So at the x intercept, the value of y is zero. So we can be led by this idea into determining the y, the x intercept of a curve. And finally, the y intercept. The y intercept of the curve. Y intercept of the curve. Something important to note is that at the y intercept, at the y intercept, x is always equal to zero. Therefore, after you've done this, now you can proceed to obtain a good sketch of your curve. Therefore, we are going to consider an example going to consider an example whereby I will read out a question which says sketch the curve whose equation is sketch the curve sketch the curve with an equation y equals to negative x squared plus 4x plus 2 so this is the curve which we are going to obtain a sketch for. The first thing in our solution, the first thing to do is to first of all get the derivative of this function, whereby we get the differential of y with respect to x. To differentiate, we drop the index to this part so that we obtain a negative 2 then the index is reduced by 1 so because it was squared now it becomes x power 1 then plus we drop the power again the power at this point is only 1 so we drop it here and 4 remains a 4 but x now which was to power 1 the 1 reduces to 0 so anything power 0 becomes 1 therefore we are multiplying 4 with x power 0 and x power 0 is becoming a 1 so that's why this remains a 4. 
the constant disappears after differentiation. Therefore, what we should know is that the first thing to identify here is the turning point on this curve. And at the turning point, the gradient function equals to zero. Gradient of a curve is zero. Therefore, we shall have negative 2x plus 4b equated to zero. So that you will understand which is this value of x at the turning point. Therefore, the value of x at the turning point is equal to 2. Now that we know the value of x at the turning point, then we can identify the coordinates of that turning point, given that we already have the function that will give us the y coordinate. Therefore, at x equals to 2, we can get what y is. So y will be equal to negative 2 squared plus 4 into 2 plus 2. Therefore, this becomes negative 4 plus 6. So negative 4 plus 8, sorry, which makes it a negative, a positive 4, because this will be negative 4. This is a plus 8, and this one is a 2. So this becomes 10, such that when we subtract 4, we will obtain y as 6. So the coordinate of the turning point is 2, 6. If the turning point is coordinate 2, 6, then we can know the nature of this turning point by looking at the gradient just before the turning point and the gradient immediately after the turning point. So what we are sure about here is that we can get the values of x, some values of x, then we get the value of gradient. The value of gradient. Therefore, the turning point is at x equals to 2. And we know at this point, the gradient is 0. So if we know at that point that the gradient is 0, now we can get gradient before coordinate 2. So we can consider 1. Then we also observe the gradient the way it is after 2, a point like at 3. So when we substitute 1 to the gradient function, we can obtain a gradient which is, when we substitute 1 here, we will have negative 2 plus 4, which makes it a 2. But now when we substitute positive 3 at this equation, which gives us gradient function, we will have negative 6 plus 4, which makes it negative 2. Therefore, this becomes negative 2. This means the gradient of this curve the gradient of this curve is changing from positive through zero and it becomes negative. Therefore, a curve which behaves such that at the turning point, gradient is changing from left positive through zero, then at the right it becomes negative. Such a point is called a maximum point. So this is a maximum point. That is the nature of the curve, a maximum point. So that one we call it a maximum point. Therefore, point two six is a maximum point. So that is after determining the turning point and its nature. So we are done with step one and step two. Next, we can now get to know, because we have now known the turning point. We can get the x-intercept and the x-intercept y equals to zero. Therefore, the x-intercept can be calculated very fast. The x-intercept can be calculated very fast by saying at the x-intercept y equals to zero. Therefore, at the x-intercept, because y is zero, we can get the function and the way we have y, we fix a zero such that we have zero equals to negative x squared plus 4x plus 2. Therefore, at the point where y is 0, they will give us, they will give us our, our x intercepts. So we can use a formula like the quadratic formula so that you may obtain the values of x such that we can have x being given by negative b which makes this one negative 4, 
plus or minus the square root of b squared, this becomes a 16, minus 4 multiplied by the value at a, which is negative 1, and the value at c, which is a 2. Then we divide by 2, a. The value at a is negative 1. So here we can get the values as negative 4 plus or minus. This becomes 16, remember? The square root of 16. Then this becomes a positive. 4 by 2 by negative 1. So we get negative 8, but we have another negative here. So it has to become a positive 8 divided by negative 2. So we can get the two values of x by first of all taking the square root of 24 as 4.899. So we will have negative 4 plus or minus 4.899. Then we divide by negative 2. So the first value will be negative 4 plus 4 point negative 4 plus 4.899 then we divide by negative 2 and this gives us negative 4 sorry when we take negative 4 point then we add 4.899 then we divide this one by 2, negative. We are going to get negative 0 0.45. This is the two decimal places. We can also get the value of x as when we have negative 4 and we subtract. 4.899 then we divide by negative 2 we are going to get positive 4.4 4. therefore or we can make it 4 5 the values of x are 2 so the curve is cutting x axis at two points we can also check where the curve is cutting the y axis the y intercept and we usually say that at the y intercept x equals to 0 therefore at the y intercept x is going to be 0. So we we'll have negative 0 squared plus 4, 0, then plus 2. So these ones become 0 and we will have the y intercept at 2. Therefore we have x intercepts which are 2 and we have the y intercept which is at 2 and we have the turning point at 2, 6. Turning point is 2, 6 which is a maximum point which is a maximum point. So we can draft now our sketch. We can draft our sketch for the curve, our sketch for the curve, in which case we shall do a draft, drafted sketch here. So we can have the x axis and the y axis intersecting. Then we want the curve to cut x axis at 0 0.45 so we can have the curve like this 1, 2, 3, 4 then we have uh, for the y intercept we can have two units such that uh, if we want the turning point which is 2, 6 then we can have 2, 6 this is our turning point. Then the curve is going to cut the y axis at 2. So the same same curve will cut the y axis at 2. So that is the y intercept. And now the two x intercepts. In which case, one x intercept is at 4.4, which can be made 4.5 because we cannot plot two decimal places. So at 4, 0.5 that will be an x coordinate that will be an x coordinate let me focus on the side well an x coordinate then again 
the curve will pass at 0 0.45 negative, which can be made 0 0.5. Therefore, the curve is going to pass at 0 0.5 in the x-intercept. Therefore, our curve is cutting x-axis at this point and also this point, cutting our y-axis at this point because this is the y-intercept, and finally, it is turning at this point, which is a maximum point. Therefore, the curve can be sketched and it is going to appear. It's going to pass there. It's going to turn at this point. And after turning, it's going again to cut the x-axis at this point. Therefore, the curve has been sketched and we can call it our curve y equals to negative x squared plus 4x plus 2. So the curve has been sketched. That's how we come with a good sketch of a curve. Thank you for following. Remember to subscribe to our channel and to also share the link with your friends. Thank you very much.